Welcome to AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Jim Young, Head of Business Development for Esri in San Francisco. Welcome. Hey Jeff, how you doing? Great. So let's talk a little bit about what uh, Esri does. So Esri is a uh, mapping company, a 40-year-old mapping company that uh, started out uh, very much in the mainframe world and has moved on from client server to desktop to web and now we are in the world of cloud and we, uh, we focus on everything related to where. So we, um, our, our platform now serves, mar serves traditional markets like uh, uh, urban planning and uh, defense and retail uh, for things like site selection. Um, but it's built on top of a platform and that platform contains uh, a number of uh, API calls that are uh, all geographically focused that allow us to kind of open up and explore new markets. And, uh, and so we're actually now here in San Francisco talking with a lot of tech companies about, uh, about this platform and about how to take their data, their geocentric data, and do some very interesting things with, with it. We're calling it geography as a service, but it's, it's essentially a platform built on top of AWS that, that allows you to interact with your data geographically and visualize your data geographically and analyze your data geographically. Sure, okay, so let's now talk a little bit more about how it does make use of AWS. Yeah, so, so we, have both a, um, we have both a hosted application and platform environment that sits on top of AWS, and we also have uh, because we've come from this, uh, this world of desktop and server, we also have uh, quite a number of customers out there that have been on-premise customers that we're now, we have an AMI for, for, for our ArcGIS server product. So, um, so that AMI can get, is, is being distributed through the Amazon sign-up. It's one of the images that you, uh, that you can add when you go in to configure your, your uh, Amazon instance. So that would be suitable for a customer that was once running the software on their own premises, now they actually want to run it in the cloud instead. Correct, correct. So there's a very natural migration path for those types of customers to take them into the cloud with infrastructure as a service, but then we're also using AWS infrastructure as a service to build our hosted platform. Makes a lot of sense. Now, what kinds of like scaling models or scaling extremes do you see when these systems get under stress? Yeah, so, so really Amazon has allowed us to, um, to achieve very elastic, very dynamic horizontal scaling. Um, an example that's, that's, you know, basically was yesterday was Hurricane uh, Sandy just, just hit uh, landfall yesterday and, and we do a lot at Esri with uh, disaster response. And so um, we had put, uh, we had put uh, work with partners to put a map together through our environment uh, and, and host that and make that available uh, with our partners for consumption. And so it's allowed us to accommodate very high levels of demand uh, without blinking. Sounds good. Okay, well, really appreciate you taking the time to come by and speak with us today and uh, wish you great luck in the future. Definitely. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.